The Better Business Bureau is warning tonight against scams that you may be getting as text messages on your phone. Good evening once again to you. Thanks for joining us this weekend. I'm David Oliver. Color Tint's Madison Heavers up first tonight. She spoke with the BBB about why these ones are different than other ones you may have had before on your phone. Madison. David, the BBB says these scam text messages are easy to fall for, especially if you've lost your job or strapped for cash heading in to the holiday season. Since March, Better Business Bureau has seen scammers trying to take advantage of and take advantage of people right here in the Ozarks. Stephanie Garland with the Better Business Bureau says these scams are nothing new, but they do have a new attention grabber, COVID-19. So taking an old scam that's been around for many years and they're putting a new twist to it. One version of this is where scammers are sending out text messages prompting participation in phony clinical studies. She says these clinical studies the scammers are talking about may seem like a good gig, but are actually dripping with insincerity. Of course, you're never going to pay to be part of a clinical trial. The phone message includes a link to see whether or not you qualified for the study. And if you do click it, you unknowingly could download right onto your smart device malware. This may seem like a fantastic idea, especially if you lost your job. No matter how curious you are, please do not go ahead ahead and, and click on that link. And it actually gives scammers access to your usernames, passwords. If you log into your credit union or bank account um, via app on your phone or via web browser, you know, it could allow for the scammers to see what's going on there and actually steal your account information. And she says the scammers are targeting anybody that they can get their hands on who has a smartphone. But we've also heard of a similar texting situation from a viewer in the Ozarks. This viewer posted on Facebook saying they never got tested, but received what looked to be a scam text message from someone claiming to be the Springfield Green County Health Department. But it turns out the health department is sending text messages like these now. We've started that text message system so that we can uh, reach out to people. Keep in mind, this is the phone number that um, the lab was given at the time of the test. So you would have been expecting to get a test result back in this time frame as well. Is it you or someone in your household who would have used your phone number at the time of testing? Both Catherine Wall with the health department and Garland say to do your research, call the hotline if you suspect a scammer is pretending to be the health department and go to clinicaltrials.gov to search cl clinical trials or contact the Better Business Bureau. Both are linked in this story on our website, ozarksfirst.com.